it's you know there's mission creep i think we're in a period of dilemma creep right because <laughs> totally. we, 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 uh, the dilemmas and, are multiple and, multiplying right the, but the administration had, if the administration allows us to become the the question to become can we fix syria um, then the answer is no, we cannot fix Syria. But I do think there's a simple, um, explainable issue here about chemical weapons. But in terms of making, uh, sort of even in, ma in making the case for chemical weapons, to Melissa's point, you then have to make the case for red lines, international communities, the responsibility to protect, which is underlying, I think, a lot of this, Richard, um, and, and two, sort of the outside voices that are dissembling th this strategy. I thought this was fairly damning. Uh, retired Army General Robert Scales, writing in the Washington Post today, mm -hmm. serving professionals, meaning armed services, ar armed service professionals, are embarrassed to be associated with the amateurism of the Obama administration's attempts to craft a plan that makes strategic sense. Well, serving professionals at the highest level thought that the action in Libya would fail and made no sense either. Exactly. So uh, I'm afraid we have civilian control of the military for a good yes. reason. Now, I happen to think that this Your press team conference is glad. Oh, uh, I, well, no, I am glad. I've lived in countries where, yeah, they, yeah. where that was unclear, well, yeah, and, yeah, and it's Libya. a really yeah. bad yeah. thing when yeah. the military think they're in control. Yeah. Now, I do think that the president's press conference today was was actually embarrassing. It was as muddled and unconvincing as you could possibly imagine. In fact, he looked so dog-tired that, frankly, he was making me tired just watching him and listening to him. If you want to take a country to a difficult place, which is this authorization for war, you have to be much more clear and convincing about what the rationale is. And the rationale is clearly about chemical weapons. But you're not going to make a case about chemical weapons by talking about treaties and red lines and international law. At the heart of this was the absolute moral outrage of those civilians being gassed in their sleep. That's it. And this administration cannot seem to stick to that line, which is how they got into this position in the first place. So what they're saying all the time is, this is a small thing, it's a small thing, it's really a small thing, but we're asking you to do a big thing, which is to vote on it. We're asking you to do something that is extraordinary, mm -hmm. even though other cases where we've just lobbed in a few Tomahawk missiles, we haven't done this. So there, there is a fundamentally mixed...